Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtu Toys Channel. Okay, uh, in front of me I have recent release from Pop Race. I've just got them all recently. That's eight total eight variants here. Uh, we're gonna do a quick round of uh, unboxing later. But before we get to that, uh, most of the most of them I do have a couple of extras. They're available through Collectors Cube. Do look them up. They they have their own website. They do ship international. Um, the their physical store is actually in uh, PJ uh, Malaysia. They're on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram as well. You can look them up there. <clears throat> okay, and um, there are a couple of events coming up, and I will be going out uh, on their behalf. Cool, All right? So, if you do see me, do drop by and say hello. Cool, okay, so here we go. A uh, quick round um, two singers, and uh, I want to open up the singers. There's the 964 um, singers, there's two of them, and uh, this is actually uh, very lovely packaging. I would say uh, I do quite like this new age this new era of um packaging design from pop race is actually really very nice <coughs> it makes it yeah it kind of uh makes me want to collect them just because of the, the the artwork on the box okay so this would be is that is that a number is that are they using the number system as well pr64-10 okay singer Mulholland drive Okay, I yeah, I haven't done any homework. I don't know much detail about this car. If you do know, you can actually drop uh, a comment. Okay, to to any reading materials or any other videos about this <coughs> particular car. Um, yeah, let me know. Okay, then maybe you know perhaps I can do a separate video and cover a little bit more about it. So I'm gonna put a box at the back there. We're gonna do a speed round, right? So it is a nine six four Singer. Not a, not exactly a new casting, but I believe this is the first time I see it with this. Um, spoiler at the back okay this tail at the back this version of the back i think it's new this set of rims does look new as well and there's a couple of additional spotlights here in front okay so pop race has actually consistently make very nice um singer models okay so this time there's actually two two singer models that we have in this batch of release this would be in blue with the wig board is it what is it called yeah <clears throat> singer 964 wig board <coughs> in my previous video probably you've seen it this this uh the, the other version with that surfboard so this will be a second version um second release with the uh the surfboard oh where's the surfboard it should be hidden somewhere okay here we go oh underneath very nice very nice packaging okay very nice blue as well again this is actually pretty much exactly the same as the previous one where it has that that little bump you should zoom in a bit that little bump on the top right okay so this actually works with one uh, of the wake board okay won't be able to put two uh, with this mechanism however you can always use a uh, black tap to it all right cool very nice casting again nice six four singer <coughs> okay i am definitely looking forward hopefully they they will update this casting to be the dls version yeah, DLS, right? Dynamic Light Weight Study version. And um, I do look forward to see uh, who was... There's someone that's already planning out the casting for their Singers 930 Turbo uh, Restoration Body Kit. Oh no, it's taped in. And um, I can't... Yeah, I thought that was going to be quite easy to remove the tape. There we go, there we go. Of course, got to remove it, right? So I'm just really very concerned that this tape will actually damage the uh, the printing. So let's not leave it. Oh, uh, I think it just did. It just remove the the coating. It does look like it did. Okay. Yeah. Is it a coating on the board or? Was it just a part of the cellophane tape? Something just looked off. No. Let's see if I can scrub off the. Looks okay. It's okay, right? <coughs> very nice, actually. Very interesting touch to it. I, I really like um, that Pop Race has, has decided to go crazy with their. Uh, Single releases, luggage bags, surfboard. What else? I think this two only right so far. 
Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see it. Okay. <coughs> and, uh, So that's a two singer, okay. Uh, I'm gonna place it back in first before I proceed to the next item. Okay, you can put this on <clears throat> two times speed actually. Okay, so that's two singer. Um, what else next? <coughs> let's do let's do the the Aston Martin. Okay, the Eva RT test type one. Okay, the GT3. Um, yeah, this one has the license from Evangelion. As well, okay. So PR sixty four dash dash nineteen. Okay. Hmm. I wonder where the number starts. This is all around. What's the lowest number here? Number ten. Number ten is the lowest. So, yeah. I don't. I don't. I I didn't notice the numbers in the previous packaging. I mean, in the uh, previous releases. So this is. Yeah, this is not the first time that they that that they release this kind of uh, packaging already. So yeah, I didn't I didn't notice the numbers before this. Okay, let's see. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Something different as well. The black color holder. Okay, that's nice as well. <laughs> okay, let me just put it aside. Okay, so that here. Out here already is the presentation version. Now in my hands will be the Evangelion version. Very nice purple, very shiny. The Eva R. Okay. This is actually a very nice casting. Okay, here we go. Very solid. Nice with the tire bomb, Pirelli. Nice. Look at the details at the back. So is that a separate piece? No, it's uh, the tail lights are all printed on. Okay, it's not a separate piece, but it does look very nice. Very, very, very nice casting. So it's Pop Race's uh, own casting, I guess. Okay, made in China. Right, right. let's just see this guy. Yeah, it's blank. <coughs> okay, it's blank. Okay, so let's do the other stager. The Penzo stager. Okay, of course the artwork does look wonderful. Um, looks brilliant. I really like the, the Penzo colors, the yellow-black combination okay this will be number 21 let's see and uh, actually while yeah as of uh, recording of this video right um there's a new pre-order for it there's a new pre uh pre-order sheet for pop race and uh, i would like to point your attention to the supra um they have the darwin pro body kit supra okay pop race is gonna do it it uh, from the photos it looks it looks brilliant Okay, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Ooh, okay. Something a little bit different. I have the blue color version here, parking there. Um, that is actually, the blue I believe is the uh, first edition. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's get the box out of the way. Ooh, that's nice. That's a nice big ass spoiler at the back. But I'm not a fan of the choice of rims and the color. Hmm. Yeah, if it's a darker color, I think it should look better, right? Uh, uh, looks very cartoonish, this color. Okay, the, the rims color, the body uh, looks fine. Calls for a wheel swap, probably. Okay, so overall, this casting actually does look quite okay. Alright, not, not, not too bad. Okay, let's get it out. <coughs> looks the same, I guess. In the previous release, yep, still the same. Okay. It has the big ass intercooler in front uh, on the on the blue color version, but this Penzo is blackened out. Okay, it's black. Alright. Okay, very big ass spoiler at the back. Okay, number 23, 1998 champion. Hmm. Was this raced? Was this a championship car? No, I think I'm gonna make a guess that this is actually a support car. But if you do know that more details about this uh, thing, if it's uh, based on a real one, let me know. Okay, let me know. Because this time, yeah, I've done quite a few shortcuts where I don't really do my homework to go through the car's uh, backstory anymore. Because the rate of arrival is pretty crazy. Okay, it's pretty, pretty crazy. Right, so this guy, I've shared the red color. And only now I've gotten the white, okay, the FL5 
in championship white again with the very 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 nice um, packaging design okay I'm getting it out and uh, yep with Honda this uh, FL5 you can open its uh, hood <coughs> and uh, I have been I have been pointing out that with opening hoods right so we do expect that kind of details um, in 64 scale so far I know that Time Micro does quite nice engine details on their 34, 30 and their 32 Kaido House does an uh, okay job with their engines as well um, I think the best looking engine in Kaido House series would be the Fair Lady versions um, however if uh, we want to talk about the Civic or the JDM cars right the other, the other manufacturer <coughs> that kind of manufacturer that makes opening hoods with engine details would be um, green light and era but uh, yeah so if we compare to those right okay pop race let me see if I can open it up immediately I go straight to it right so because this is this is one of the main reason there is already a couple of ever five out there I've done a comparison video as well uh, between mini GT oh it's very very tight I can't get it out between mini GT para 64 and hobby Japan oh. Ooh. <coughs> okay, so Hobby Japan, no opening parts Well, there are three brands, no opening parts So this guy come in opening part Look at the engine It is actually, the detail is actually pretty decent on this no? Don't you think? I think it looks quite okay At this price, with the opening parts The engine, I think it's one of the nicer ones in 64 scale Right right do you agree and then yep being able to roll and it comes with the disc brakes okay and i need to point out i need to point out something the caliper okay it stays in position nice the caliper stays in position nice nice and it can roll nice very nice okay so Mm. <clears throat> this comes in a price range a little bit <coughs> well roughly around para 64 price so mini gt is still price and detail mini gt is still down uh, most economical with quite a lot of details of course no disc brake so this one goes into the para 64 range and um, it does look like this is better than the para 64 casting nice nice in white okay Right in the championship white, oh, but it has that little bit of uh, dirt here and there. Okay, so that's the FL5. Let's check out the Yaris. They have quite a few already, and um, I think it's I it can say something for everybody. The Yaris is the Yaris is actually really quite good actually. Um, did I do a comparison for for pop race? I think did I? No, I didn't. I think I did for <coughs> no, not even time. I did HKS. Um, I did for sorry, not HKS. I, I did for HKM. What's the other two brand? Feel me, and I think it's Pop Race. I didn't do time. Yeah, because time. My time arrived uh, much later. Ooh, looks good. Looks good. So this is actually the Pandem um, body kit. Okay, this is not the not stock GR Yaris, then it's not the WRC kit as well. This is actually the Pandem body kit. So this PR64-13 Toyota Pandem GR Yaris. Nice. Nice. Very nice car not very chunky car not details in front actually, but not bad. This is actually quite a nice casting um, from Pop Race, given its price. So no opening parts, but uh, nice. Being able to roll, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, all right. Nice casting. So yeah, I I will be prob I will probably be collecting these from Pop Race. Very nice. Very nice. No disc brakes. Uh, it doesn't look like a disc brake. Actually, it looks like. Yeah, it's just covered rim where you don't see through. So it do it looks a little bit more realistic. Okay. 
All right, so that's a Yaris. Okay, and uh, I want to show you the BRZ and the GR86. PR64-20, and uh, this is blue, something blue. Hang on, what blue is it? Can I find the... Uh, this one is in sapphire blue and some... Ah, oh. oh, there, this guy. So this guy is sapphire blue. Okay, so from the box, looks looks good, right? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Hang on, let me get it out of the packaging. So in the meantime, okay, help me to hit the like button and because uh, that will help me out with the YouTube algorithms, okay? And uh, you can hit the subscribe button and hit the bell as well so that you don't miss on any of my other diecast videos. Um, yeah. Alright, so at the moment, I do more um, batch release reviews. Hope you guys don't mind. Um, it's a little bit different from the usual video styles that I do. Ooh. Okay, so... It's not as sapphire as what I thought it would be. It's not as sapphire as yeah, what's on the box. Hmm, it does look like a flat, solid blue. Is that sapphire? Really? Really? Is this sapphire? It doesn't look like sapphire. Really? It doesn't shine like a sapphire. But this blue is really very blue. Okay, it does look like a Subaru blue. Okay, so I do imagine this with the uh, gold liveries. Mm, okay, then it kind of makes sense. Okay, so very big. Um, that's the thing. Is the Subaru logo really that big? Is it in proportion? It does look quite huge. It does look quite big actually. Hmm. So this guy, yeah, no, no display on this one. Okay, no display on this one. I think that kind of explains as well. Out of the all of the releases here, right? This will be the lowest um, price. Mm. Okay, all right, twin pipes, not bad at all. Okay, so we get the uh, let's get the GR eighty six out as well. So this guy number twelve, Neptune blue. Okay, so we've seen the Sapphire Blue. I'm gonna check out the Neptune Blue now. Okay, so we've hit the like button already, right? I do have a couple of extras of these pop race releases. Um, they're available through Collector's Cube, so do look them up. Okay, they do ship international. They have their own website, coolcube.com. Um, yeah, and uh, we're in October 2023 right now. Uh, there will be another two upcoming events that uh, I will be going out on their behalf so do follow them for events that you know I will be going to there we go so light blue and dark blue <laughs> light blue and dark blue but it's called Neptune blue and sapphire blue now this combination of the uh, the light blue with the black rims does look quite nice Hmm. See the logo a little bit smaller, right? Right. The the Subaru, yeah, the Subaru logo does look quite big. Okay. Right. See the difference. The front grille is different. Basically, the front bumper, generally speaking. Um, the lights does look identical. Okay. Side view, they do look identical as well. Go to the back. Do uh, identical. Okay. So I think the biggest difference is only the front bumper. Okay, both is right hand drive. Okay, not bad. So I would say at its price with these details, not bad. Not bad. The the ones that I really like right now would be the singer, okay. Um, let me angle this so I can see. The singer is really very nice. Um, generally, all of their singer releases actually I quite like all of them. Now this could be my favorite. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Very sorry for that. Okay, now this would be one of my favorite singer casting from Pop Race. Now this is actually very nice. 
Okay. Cool. All right. Nice. Which would be your favorite out of all these releases? Let me know. Okay. So uh, that's it for this time around. Uh, help me to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that I don't miss out any of my other Darkcast videos. Hit the like as well if you haven't hit it. And uh, yeah, that's it for this time around. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.